we will discuss an another important accounting topic that is cost concept. What does it mean? Let's have an in-depth analysis about the cost concept of accounting. According to this concept, it says that a particular item, particular asset is being recorded at that price at which it was originally purchased. Because all of us know that the price changes very rapidly. So what is the price of the asset in the last year that may not be in the in this year or that may not be in the next year. So prices are always always fluctuates. Sometimes it moves up, sometimes it moves down. Most of the time it moves up. But that fluctuation in price is not considered in accounts. So at what price it is written? When a particular asset is being purchased, what is the amount paid for that asset? That will be recorded in the books and that the same price will remain in the books so far it is used in the business. That is the main concept about the behind the cost concept. For example, in 2012, I have purchased one printer for rupees 10,000. In the year 2012, I have purchased one printer at rupees 10,000, right? So I'm still, it, I'm still using this one. So today is 2020. If I go to the market, if I ask the price of that printer, then say it is 15,000. So at least I can expect 5,000 rise in the value in the last eight years. But we will not consider that prices. Why? This is, the, this is not the prices we have paid. This is not the prices we have received. So what prices we have paid? The price rupees 10,000 we have paid in the year 2012. So, so far that particular printer will use in the business that 10,000 will be available in the books of the accounts. It does not consider changes in the market prices because all of us know, everybody of us know that market is never constant. It is never constant in nature. It always fluctuates. Sometimes it moves up, sometimes it moves down. So market prices always fluctuates. That is called volatility. Okay, we are not going to consider this one. So what price we are, we are supposed to write in the books? The price what we have paid at the time of purchase. No matter, although the price moves up later on, no matter, the price moves down later on. But that prices will remain the same. That is all about the cons cons cost concept. And whatever, so one thing, okay, one more thing. Say in 2012, I have paid rupees 10,000. So in 2020, the same prices will remain in the business, right? So that is also called historical cost, right? So historical cost means what? The cost price, what we are written, that will be become history after a few years. Yes, cost concept represents that one. It never considered the market value. It considered the cost price. Cost price means what? The price that we have paid at the time of purchasing a particular item or asset. That is what the cost concept teaches us and we have to follow this concept while recording a particular transactions, while preparing the books of account in the business.